Previously on Fallout 3. Time to die! Okay. Frame drop. Whoa, mutants. How many of those are there gonna be? Based on my frames, I'd say there's more than one. Oh my god, so many mutants. A super mutant overlord. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. I am so done with mutants. God damn it. Time to hunt down this bulimic bitch. <laughs> I'm a penio. I am Boner, the Skeleton Man. That's the two L's. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Phoenix Jade, and I approve of this badassery. Alright, we got any dancers in here? I'm putting up flyers all over the place. We. Oh, cool. Okay. I can see your tits. That shirt isn't fooling anyone. It's not even a shirt, is it? You join the right group, Jericho. This is what we do in our off time. Hey. Holy shit! Where's Malibu? I want to talk to her about the dancer thing. Uh, we'll talk to Mr. Slater. Mr. Slater? Sir? What the fuck? Um... Please put on a shirt. How would the three P's coming along? No, seriously, I'm not joking. Put on a shirt, please. Anyway, so we uh, published that magazine. That's a, uh, that's, uh, that's great. A sure sign that civilization is returning to the wasteland. Your share of advanced sales has been deposited in your office safe. In its heyday, Lollipop's magazine was published monthly, not to mention spin-offs and specialty periodicals. Let's shoot for 12 issues. 12, 12 it, you, you're fucking. You're, well, clearly you're fucking, but I mean, you're... Uh... Oh, good. I'm, okay. Uh, can I continue this conversation with my eyes closed? Would that be insulting? That's the worst fucking cover I've ever seen in my life of any magazine. Why the hell... Why did I... Why did I pick her? What's wrong with me? In my near vomit, I discovered a panic room. Let's check it out. Holy moly. This is a big panic room. Let's activate these screens. Let's get some light in here. That's better. Well, time to go back up. Lollipops Magazine Moira. Maybe someone will buy that. I don't know why, but maybe someone will. Stop crouching. You look like a freak. Well, now what do we do? We started this video off with pornography, and I feel like we basically exhausted all of our options at this point. Hmm. I can't believe that actually hit. That wasn't so bad. I can't believe that actually hit. Glad that's over. How awesome is that? Hi, right, what are you doing here? I'll mind my business, you mind yours. <laughs> oh my god. So where the hell is that one kid that was like bitching about grown-ups and complimenting my muscles? From way back in like probably like part seven or something. I wonder if there are any Twinkies left. Not really what I'm thinking about right now, Amanda. Willem's Wharf. Greetings, miss. Have you seen a shit-faced kid around here? Well, look at this. We got us a wanderer all the way out here in Willem's Wharf. You must got some important business out here to be wandering around. But taint none of my beeswax what you're doing. But if you're interested in trading, maybe we can help each other. Maybe we could. Hey, um, when I said shit-faced kid, I actually meant he's a piece of shit, and he has a face, and his face kind of looks like shit. I didn't mean like he was drunk. He wasn't like shit-faced. I didn't mean like that. I don't condone children drinking. So what are you doing out here? My boys are hunting lurks. Finest meat you could get, but he don't move around in your stomach like Mole Rack does. I wouldn't know. Not dangerous, those things. 
just as soon take your head off as look at you. Watch yourself out here. They're all over. Yeah, I hate fucking mire lurks. Really don't know about the whole eating thing, though, because I don't believe I've eaten since I escaped the vault. I should probably look into some sort of a diet. Any kind of diet would be better than eating nothing, I suppose. Some fellas came out here a while ago that said they was looking for some do-gooder that came out from one of them vaults. I told them I ain't seen nobody like that and sent them on their way. They might still be around here, though, if you think you can help them. Huh. That is actually pretty interesting. How about we just trade and forget that I said anything about being from a vault? We always need bullets. Takes damn near a hundred of them to kill a guai. I prefer to stim pack, but at least I could sell some crap to you. I guess. Wanna buy my porno mag? I knew you'd want the porno mag. Well, speaking of Mora, take the survival guide too. It's a real piece of shit. Why do I have a fission battery? What the fuck? Bye. You watch out for guai. They're all over. You're paranoid. You're paranoid as fuck. Welcome to Grey Bitch. Hmm. Oh, the local citizens must be here to greet me. That's not a local citizen. Guys, that's an ant. Guy wow. Wow, it's a fire-breathing ant. I bet this fire gun isn't going to be very useful. Let's switch to this. I need to give it a go. Oh, yeah. Shish kebab, baby. person could fit in here. I mean, a person is fitting in here, but... Wait for radiation to clear. Enjoy your stay. What the fuck? What a sadistic dick. Having people hide in metal containers during the apocalypse. Horrible. Even I think that's horrible, and I'm beefy motherfucking McCracken. Everything okay? Everything's actually quite fantastic, because I just got an awesome idea. Sure I want to give you the shish kebab because I'm really sick of seeing. Wow, you have got a lot of guns in here that you don't use. Hmm. Sick of seeing you with that sledgehammer now. I mean, yeah, you're pretty good with the sledgehammer, but I want to see you use a real melee weapon. You can't carry anymore, probably because you're lugging around all this crap. Give me that back. This is going to be really interesting to watch. And it's like to live underground, right? So we're going to go down here and see if we can't find the source of this dragon ant problem. What the fuck? Phil, you startled me. You see, you st I, I startled you? You really mustn't creep up on people like that. Call me a creep? I would have crapped my pants if I ever ate anything. Well, that's no way to talk to a man of science. I don't have time for this kind of childish nonsense. I have some very delicate experiments that I must attend to. What experiments? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist. How marvelous. Oh god. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Okay, yeah, I got it. That's interesting. It's, it's marvelous. But could you explain it for the slower people, like, you know, my sister back there? Hmm. Well, let me see. Well, you start with a generation of very large ants. Uh-huh. You simply inject the current brood's eggs with an engineered mutagen. Then, the next generation should be smaller. Do it enough times, and you may be able to reduce them back to their once original tiny size. So, are you also injecting them with Godzilla's DNA? Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. No kidding. Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get near my equipment. So all I gotta do is kill me some ants? I'm afraid it's not that simple. The mutagen has already been injected into the ant queen. She has enough in her body to last 
for years. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage I've caused. All right, all right, get to it. What do you want me to do? My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Why can't we just kill the bitch? If I were to do that, months of data would be lost. No, no, the Queen must remain completely unharmed. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Mm, filthy little abominations. This'll stop the napalm ants? No, it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy, destroying each other in the process. <laughs> However, there is one final detail I need your help with. Could you do something about Brian Wilkes for me? Who the fuck is that? He's a rather bothersome young lad, always asking interminable questions and, and interrupting my calculations. After you're done down here, perhaps you can locate him on the surface and speak to him. So what exactly is in it for me? Because I don't usually work for free. I've tried it once. It doesn't feel right. Um, actually, did I ever try that? Working for free. Yes, I did. As a matter of fact, I went and put a dish up in the Washington Monument for no fucking reward at all. I mean, I guess Three Dog gave me the directions to a weapons cache, but uh, I should actually go visit that. Anyways, I need a reward, or else I can't do it. Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. Do it. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. What the shit? I really don't want to do that, but... I guess it'll stop the ants from burning my sister, which she gets really bitchy when that happens. So yeah, I'll, I'll save Grey Bitch. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The Nest Guardians can be quite tenacious. I'm sure. Whoa, did you see how fast I moved? I already finished the work, Doctor. Please, don't insult my intelligence. You didn't even enter the hatchery. Hmm. Now, I believe you have a job to do? You're clever. Really clever. Well, something burned its way out of here. Holy crap. Guys, the ants built a door! Alright guys, here's the game plan. Uh, everything he said... Uh, we're not doing that. We're gonna kill everything down here, got it? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, that's one down. Well, that's two. There's four. Alright, now we just gotta take care of this big bitch. Hmm. I think we just lost our big bitch. This is unfortunate. Well, I'm probably not gonna survive this anyway, so... Okay. That's right, you cunt. Yeah! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What the hell? Protectron doing here. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh shit. All right, I admit that was mostly my fault. All right, it was maybe sixty percent my eighty, ninety. Fuck you guys. You people should actually probably stay back. Yeah? Actually, you can come with me. Alright, Amanda, it's just me and you. You're invincible, so you're gonna act as my meat shield. Clover and Jericho are not invincible. So, okay, there you go. Boom, there you go. Show them what fire really is. Oh, I can't even see what I'm shooting at. I think it's a leg. Um, okay. That was a good hit. Oh, uh, I should definitely upgrade my energy weapon. Okay, that's great. Alright, that one's done. Should we kill the queen? Heads up. You know what, no. Amanda, come back whenever you're ready. 
I'm not gonna risk it. I'll risk you, but I'm not gonna risk me. No way in hell I'm risking me. Besides, Clover gets bored when she's all alone. No, no, no! Hey! What the fuck, man? I've been standing here for- Don't- Just- Let's go. Relax. Don't go that way. You stupid dick. Can we go yet? Yeah, 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 yeah. let's go. Oh. Let's go. Whatever. Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's go. Enough waiting around. We gotta go talk to the doctor. Hey guys, check this out. Just wait. <laughs> it's good to be out here again. Damn good. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh fuck. Hey Amanda, you were you were going green for a second. You okay? <laughs> Hey, dude. I've detected some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? My work is done, Doctor. For real this time. Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. Come now, the faster you tell me, the faster I can provide promised payment for your services. I killed all the Nest Guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. I'm ready for my mood genic beyond Hanser injection and lab coat, Doctor. Give it to me. Right now. How marvelous. Here is the promised lab coat. I'm certain you'll find it quite useful. Yep. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant mite? All about the mite, my friend. How marvelous. Ant mite it is. Hold still, please. You've been granted the strength and flame resistance of the Grey Ditch Fire Ants. Your strength has increased by one and you are now 25% resistant to fire. I guess that's cool. The, the, the strength part's definitely cool, but the fire resistance is kind of... Eh. Cool. Let's get out of here. I'm not sure where we go. Let's go tell Brian what happened. He's probably up there at Grey Bitch. Woo! Hmm. Low frames and no Brian Wilkes. Whoever that is. On the plus side, no fire ants. So. I what Eulogy's doing. Did, you, did I hear something about Eulogy? Shut up about Eulogy. Seriously. My compass is telling me to go here. Anyone here? No? Why is my compass telling me to go... Where is it telling me to go? We're gonna have to go find him. Fuck me. Alright, it says he's over here somewhere. Um... Brian? Brian? Hey. Dude? Man, I'm glad to finally be away from Megaton. Uh... Now's not the time to discuss Megaton. Holy shit, that's the kid. That's the shit face kid. Oh fuck, we should have helped him. No, I'm not talking to you anymore. You're a jerk, and I hate you. Whoa, dude, chill, alright? I used to resurrected you with console commands. And because I did that on camera, now everyone knows I toggled God Mode during the video. So, fuck you for your ungrateful, ungrateful, is it in or un? It's ungrateful. Attitude! What's it gonna take for you to forgive me? When I was bad, my papa made me apologize three times. Then decided if I was really sorry or not. You wanna talk to me about stuff? Say you're sorry three times, and you better mean it. Uh, fine. I'm sorry. That's good. Keep going. I'm sorry. Keep him coming. Papa said that's the right thing to do. I'm mother fucking sorry. There, that's three. Good. You did it. Now I'll talk to you. Good. I'll. I guess I'll look for your f father. You will. My house is the one closest to the huge sign and the old diner. Um. Please. Find my papa and make him come back. 
feel like you shouldn't have died because I think that really fucked up the whole quest. Anyway, this probably isn't the best place for you to stand, just based on the fact that you were dead when I got here. You think I didn't know that? Hey, can we just end this quest? It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I'm... no. You were dead. what? Oh god. I hope I didn't duplicate this quest. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, since you're so grateful, it was all me. Check out these big guns, remember those? I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did. But I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. I hope you'll come back and visit someday. Yep, best of luck to you. I don't know. I kind of don't like it in here. I'm gonna be really lonely. I guess this is goodbye then. Come back and visit me. Not a fucking chance. See ya, shitbird. Hate to do it, but let's go back to Megaton and get some stem packs from Moira, if she has any. Hey, nice shirt. Huh. Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? Oh, <laughs> what's up? You need to stop telling me that every fucking time. Anyway, I would like to see what you have for sale. What do you need? And for once, I actually want to buy something. Do you have any stim... Oh, wow. Hey, not bad. Thanks. I accept. Goodbye. Good hunting. No, I'm leaving. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. I, I can tell. I can definitely tell. I have a magazine proving this it. This place gives me the creeps. I know, right? Well, I guess we're back to stopping the videos here. Okay. Uh, I would give you guys a chance to give last words, but you're all pretty terrible at it. So, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just end the video. Fuck you.